Hello friends and a warm welcome to the pep talk with me Sudeep Nag. It's been a while before I came up with yet another video. When things are now opened, everyone is going to office. I know that you don't really have time to watch the videos that you used to do while the pandemic was on. And that is the reason during the pandemic, I brought a lot of videos to my audiences and I'm happy that I could connect with so many people and uh, many of them, you know, today uh, also are in touch with me. So it's great medium to actually reach out to people to share knowledge and of course, uh, uh, do things of mutual interest. So today, once again, I'm here with yet another video. So let me share my screen with all of you. So today I will be talking about sales because, you know, as things open up, people definitely want to sell their products or sell their services. So what else to come up with but sales? Again, this is a demo video, a little bit of short information, quick information. Uh, I really feel a lot of pleasure actually bringing these videos to you. So as the quote says, do things that you have never done before to get the results that you have never achieved before. So honestly, my videos that you see are actually things that I had never done before making these videos and, uh, you know, online uh, connect with people. But I'm happy that I did, did that and I'm getting results. So similarly in sales also, it is true. Do things that you have not done before. Now, four steps for great sales. Number one, someone who can read people. You know, when you meet people, when you connect to people, when you understand people, that is what you do when you read people. Number two is when you engage with people in a conversation, a uh, likable personality, a personality who can mingle and be at the center of things with uh, clients uh, in conferences, in several meetings. I think bingo, you got that right. Number three, don't just sell. Don't go thinking that I will sell things be a solution provider problem solver with your products or services number four sell solutions not just products as i always mention so remember these four important steps to sales now how of sales do your homework prepare prepare with your product knowledge process knowledge what this product can do for the client this preparation is the key and the homework, the time you put in, you know, honestly, to make a video of five minutes, I think I put in five days, something like that. And the fab techniques, you know, we all talk about fab techniques, feature, advantage and benefit when you talk about your product features like a mobile phone. What are the features? What are the advantages that will create for you as an individual and benefits? Why should you buy it? And lastly, present yourself first. You are, you know, the presentation. Then comes your product. So if you can connect within that 10 seconds, you will definitely make the person know about your product. I already mentioned Fab Technique. It's a very well-known and, a, you know, tried and tested technique. Why don't you try it? Next, a lead. L-E-A-D. This is not lead well, as a leader, but a technique. Listen. L for listen, E for effectively be a consultant. As I said, provide solution. And A, ask questions to find out open-ended, closed-ended. You know, the, the things that the customer is not able to express. Understand them by asking those questions. And D, don't be afraid to lose a sale. So don't be afraid. So be straightforward and negotiate and talk about your product and the price. Eight ways of successful selling. Don't sell people you don't who don't need your product. You know, do that. You know, exercise that you find out feasibility check. Number two is quality or qualify prospects and then persuade them. First, you qualify them, then you talk to them. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Number three, understand if the prospect has utility of your product or not whether he or she actually needs the product. Number four, find out if the prospect can afford your product and have that enthusiasm and transfer it. That's number five, catch up with the changes. Changes, changes constant. And then second last point is you got to be comfortable as a salesperson. Be proud of selling. And lastly, 
confidence 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 like that movie says i don't like sales but sales likes me then closing a sale very important just don't talk about your product close it and talk about that closing after you know you talk about your product where don't just close a sale on the phone close a 10 minutes meeting on a phone as we say and uh, in short you know after you negotiate and all that get the deal done closed you know that's important that's all because we run out of time i wanted to make it short and crisp so thank you so much for watching this video do share it with your friends who need this video and like always until next time keep watching the pep talk keep watching all my videos share them and definitely communicate with me and contact me definitely and have a wonderful day goodbye